Tonight, welcome inside with Alex Rodriguez, Matt Vaskersian. Let's start uh, because these are two teams going in very different directions. Let's start with the one moving in the right direction, the New York Yankees. Despite the fact that they've got three prominent offensive players on the IL, look, they're going nuts right now with homers, with big mm -hmm. run scoring nights, and they're doing it in part because two guys that were sleepy early in the season seem to have woken up. That's right, Matty, and they occupy the two most important positions Shortstop and catcher, of course, I'm talking about Glaber Torres and Gary Sanchez. Aaron Boone told us earlier today they're starting to hit with balance, strikes. Gary Sanchez, three home runs with two strikes, back-to-back -back games. Both of them in the lineup tonight. All right, let's get to the Red Sox because things aren't quite as optimistic <laughs> around uh, the other traditional superpower in the AL East. Where do we begin? I guess with pitching, they have lost six in a row and have allowed eight or more runs in each of those games. Big lineup on paper just has not clicked so far this year. Perhaps most disconcertingly, the defense has kind of fallen apart. So for a Red Sox team that has lost six in a row and finds itself already nine games under 500 and it's been beaten roundly by their rivals, the Yankees, not an overstatement to say it's been a messy start to the season. A mess indeed, but a great opportunity if you're a young Red Sox player. If I was a young Red Sox player in that clubhouse today, I'm saying to myself, I want to prove myself. I want to show Red Sox management I am part of the solution, not part of the problem. They want to roster in the 2021 Red Sox spot. Well, and as badly as this series has gone for the Red Sox, it's a four-gamer, and they've still got an opportunity to get out of the Bronx with a four-game series split. Some of the brightest faces in the game lining up as adversaries once again tonight. And by Taco Bell. Scoring hasn't necessarily been the problem during their six-game losing streak. They're averaging five runs a game. A couple of tweaks today, most notably Christian Vasquez DHs. J.D. Martinez will play right for just the second time this year. And note Xander Bogarts. Even he has fallen on harder times. The two-time All-Star and one of the brightest players on the landscape just three for his last 22 but big numbers for him against the Yankees this year so hopefully this is a matchup that can get Xander going for Red Sox fans that is and Jay Happ on the mound for the Yankees making his third start of the season tonight yeah the 37 year old 14 year vet coming with a big start tonight looking for a roster spot he features a fastball a cutter a two seamer he gave up the long ball, 34 of them last year in a home run hitting park in Yankee Stadium. Something for the folks at home to watch tonight. 92 miles an hour and above is great. Below, not so good. Under last year by the Yankees didn't prevent him from winning over 100 games. Let's take a look at his Taco Bell starting lineup tonight. The Yankees have slugged 19 homers at home in just eight games. That's the most they've ever hit in their first eight games of a season at Yankee Stadium. Any version of Yankee Stadium. Clint Frazier's been a part of that damage. DHing tonight. 7 for 11 with two homers since being summoned from the, quote, alternate training site in Scranton. Boy, what a big day this is for 30-year-old Chris Mazza making his first ever Major League start. Born in Walnut Creek, California in 1989, the day the earthquake interrupted the A's Giants World Series. And take a look at that note. His grandmother is cousins of Joe DiMaggio. Hmm. <laughs> of all the twists in a Red Sox-Yankees game. And Mazza ready to begin his first big league start this evening. He does so with a strike to Aaron Hicks. 